children. Today we are going to read a very special book about a robot. Hmm. No but the robot with no bottom. <laughs> no but the robot with no bottom by Sue Hendra. Burn and the robot love to play at the park. We he swung high, high, high up into the sky. Soon it was time to go. Bernard jumped off the swing and headed on. He'd only walked a little way when... <gasps> My button! cried Bernard. It's disappeared. Where can it be? to the park to look, but he couldn't see his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, have you seen my bottom? Mm, I think I might have. Bird is using it. Come and see. Hello, bird. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops, Bernard. Was that your bottom? It was too heavy to be a nest. So I gave it to Bear to use in his drum kit. Let's go and get it back. Excuse me, Bear, have you been drumming on my bottom? Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom? It made a funny noise, so I couldn't use it. I don't know where it is now. Oh, poor Bernard. Don't worry, your bottom's got to be somewhere, said his friends kindly. Look, there it is. Uh, uh, that's just Gary's hat. Mm. There, said Bear. Oh, that's just Eater's shopping basket, said Bernard. Uh, isn't that it, said Bear. No, that's just Doc's window box. Mm, Bernard was sad. I'll never get my bottom back. <laughs> Ooh, poor Bernard. Come and sit down, said his friends, and we'll think where to look next. I can't sit down. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a nobot. Walked away to carry on looking. After a while, he arrived at the beach. He looked out to sea and saw something very familiar. There it was. Come back, he shouted. Come back here. You have got my bottom. But the rabbits couldn't hear him. Bernard jumped and waved, but it was no good. Then, as he turned away, he spotted a strange-shaped sand castle. Hmm. <gasps> he had found his bottom! Bernard was so happy to have his bottom back. He did a wiggling, giggling dance and so did all his friends. And Bernard never lost his bottom again. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe he, he lost his arm. Uh-oh.